What's going on, guys? Starlight, Starlight Armada here. Um, and today we will be testing the Hummingbird VTOL. I just kind of, you know, well, I don't know, but anyways, uh, I just, well, I wanted a VTOL. You know, I, I've I've seen everybody else's, and I was like, well, let's try this. Let's try airplanes out on the new game. You know. Um, some of the things of the uh, some of the flight characteristics are kind of different on this one I've noticed but other than that I mean it's kind of the same I mean I don't know it, it's it's still good you know but uh, here I am just kind of taking off taking the hummingbird for its kind of test flight um, you wouldn't believe how many test flights this is like the very first one where I didn't crash that so you wouldn't believe how many test flights it took me to get this plane uh, flying this good. Um, I'm guessing at least probably like maybe 12 I guess because there's little things that you have to tweak in this game you know in order to get a an actual airplane that will work um, the way you want it to. Me I wanted it to be able to hover and I wanted it to be able to be very maneuverable. Um, this plane is sort of like that, but it's it's not the very, like, I don't know, I don't think it's that good, but it's good enough, though. It's good enough to get me around, you know? And for me, um, building a vertical takeoff and landing jet would, you know, that's, that's a big, uh, whoa, 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 here I am, almost, whoa, yeah. It's kind of, kind of, kind of weird to control, but, uh, I got, I got the hang of it flying it around, you know, uh, in the previous flights um, it hovers pretty well it hovers well it hovers really well actually uh, I never you know it took me about four days to build this thing um, constantly I, 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 I click on it put a few more pieces on it test it out it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do so I'd get frustrated so I'd you know, start building something else you know I'd you know go to go to a different project and over the past four days it you know it just led up to this little ship or this little jet and this is the accumulation of four days and multiple hours of thought <laughs> yeah it takes a lot of thought to you know I was kind of thinking about you know like you know thinking about how in the heck am I gonna set this up and how in the heck am I gonna get that but I got it done um, I'm gonna be making a, a a little tutorial on how to build a build these things I just haven't really gotten around to making a video like that I just I don't know but I will because a lot of people wanted to know on how to build a nice little VTOL jet so um, it hovers really well and it's actually pretty pretty nimble I'm I mean you know it, it's 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 pretty good I don't you know I don't know as you can see it's it, it can turn and um, it's, it's hovering um, we're gonna be testing out its uh, hover to takeoff capabilities here in a little bit and uh, we're just trying to get some height out of it because you do lose height or you do lose altitude whenever you you know whenever you start trying to fly it's just I don't know it's just there <laughs> But here we are, we're just trying to take off, you know, mid-flight from hover, and it's actually doing pretty well. We're getting the altitude we need, and we're going to just click on, we're going to go to full, we're going to turn off all the thrusters, uh, all the vertical thrusters, and we're going with horizontal thrusters, and we got to kind of make this thing fly. <laughs> and there you go. It, it it hovers and takes off pretty well. I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of proud of this little plane, I mean... You know, <laughs> I don't know. It took me a while to get here, folks. You know, and it's it's been a while. Um, you know, I mean, it takes time to build these little things, and you know, it's got parachutes on it just in case. You know, um, there's reasons why I got parachutes on it too. Um, I've wrecked this thing so many times. I was actually gonna put some of that video on here, but then it kind of looked, I don't know. But uh, I will be posting all my mistakes. You know, I'll be will be putting on here all my mistakes because it's pretty crazy though how I crash and all that so yeah and it's kind of sad too you know I don't know 
But here we are, we're just taking, you know, we're trying to go over here to this little um, landing strip over here. Um, taking the hummingbird out, you know, it hovered around via the KSP control center, or command center, and now we're just going over here. We're actually in this, we're actually kind of testing out the fuel range on this thing too. Um, it's got a good amount of fuel on it. Um, I did make a long range um, hummingbird. Um, the long range hummingbird, I will be, I'll be putting a video about that one because that thing has got, geez, holy man, for the for the fuel it carries, it can go somewhere. You know, because I'm thinking about building another little, maybe a little base that I can fly to with these little things. You know, um, uh, maybe a a a VTOL base where you you know. But it worked, I don't know, like, I'm just thinking, I'm just kind of thinking about things I could build, you know, because I kind of had builder's block, and, uh, I kind of really couldn't figure out what, what what else to build after the orbital fuel station, and, you know, after, you know, after I got pretty much everything I wanted to do done in this game, because that's all I really wanted in this game, that's why I, I you know, kind of bought this game, because I was like, oh, hey, it'd be cool to build a space station and send stuff to it, and I did that. I got that done in the last game, but it wouldn't let me get farther than that, and I've always wanted to build an orbital fuel station out by the moon. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So I've got that done in this game. Now it's the minimus base. Um, I'm just taking it slow. You know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know, like, I don't really, I don't really need to get to do now. I've already been there. Um, I haven't really posted a video about it, and I, nor did I take any video of it. But yeah, I, I've made it there. And I don't know. It's it's just an orange little planet, so it's got a face on it. I found that face and all that, but other than that, you know, um, I will be making a video on how to get to Duna, though, or of us of me going to Duna, I guess, of us going to Duna, trying to go to Duna again, I guess. But anyways, I'm just putting it in hover mode right now, and we're you know trying to slow down, um, just trying to slow down and get that uh. Our apple, or wherever the hell that maneuver node up there. Okay, so we're just gonna become flying in, or hovering in, I guess. Um, I was trying to take this real slow because I really didn't like understand, or not understand. But I really didn't know how to how the plane would react, you know, to slowing down and all that. Um, it does, I guess, all right, but the nose drops every time I go into hover mode, so I kind of, I, I didn't like that, but it's just, I don't know, it's just what happens, I guess, you know, because of those big things, those big uh, air brake things I got on there, you know, those things are supposed to slow us down, I guess, you know, uh, they, they kind of, sort of work, I guess, I don't know, they're, but uh, it's, I don't know, I guess it's, it's all right. But other than that, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty cool, you know. Other people were telling me to to call it the the uh, the ladybug because of, you know you know how a ladybug you know whatever it opens up its wings and you can you know yeah I can hover and fly and all that. But I like the hummingbird better. Um, either way, heck, either way, it does good. The hummingbird's pretty pretty cool, pretty good little plane. You know, I really like it. But um fuel range is good, um, hover capabilities are outstanding, um, I don't know what other, what, what more I could actually do, it's got a parachute system, so if you mess up, you hit the button and boom, you know, you're, you're okay, eh, you're not gonna wreck, you know, you just go down, and you gotta repack the parachutes, and, you know, all the other good stuff, but we're just hovering around this little, uh, air base, you know, showing off, I was gonna, um, land some uh, different aircraft uh, I I built um, but eh, I was just you know trying to hurry up and get this done you know I, was, I really wanted to test this thing and you know I kind of got an idea I kind of got a, I was watching on uh, YouTube or I was watching on YouTube that people actually build like missiles and stuff on here and jets with missiles and all kinds of crazy stuff so I just kinda I think I'm gonna I don't know KSP war I really I really I, I don't know I'm gonna check that out 
but anyways here we are we're just hovering in you know coming in real slow and trying to not to wreck into anything um other than that we're just coming in pretty kind of checking this old little place out you know, he's coming in. Oh, trying to stay away from that, uh, that, that, uh, pillar over there, you know. Ooh, gotta stay away from that. But, uh, here we are. We're just gonna come down for a little quick landing. And we are down. Alright. Well, anyways, well, we landed, you know. Landed soft, soft touchdown, you know. That's what I said, folks. It hovers really well. And, uh, we're just gonna turn ourselves around and, you know, get out of here okay so we landed over here got all that done it looks pretty good I don't know I was thinking about taking a picture but uh, we're gonna get out of here folks <coughs> get out of here and get back uh, get back to the KSP Center um, I don't know where in the heck I'm gonna land this thing over there but uh, I'll figure it out though you know I'll figure it out all right, here we go. We're up in the air. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. You know. There we go. Got a nice little takeoff. You know. Nice little takeoff. That's pretty good. Just messing around, I guess. Um, now we're just gonna kind of, kind of mess around. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to crash. That's one thing we don't want to do is crash. I really, you know, kind of nervous. Whoa. Kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Oh. Kind of kind of getting the hang of this little this little thing though, you know, this little VTOL. <laughs> kind of surprising. Um, other than that, I mean, heck, it it does pretty pretty dang good. Um I think in a, maybe the next video, I think I want to try and build, well, I don't know. The next video will be the next video, you know. I can't really, you know, say what I'm going to do next, I mean, because I really don't know. Oh, there we go, we're just trying to stay away from this pillar, or this, this, uh, uh, what the heck is this dang thing called, uh, the tower, this little, uh, radio, the dispatch tower, <laughs> Just checking that out, looking, being nosy, looking around in there. You know, seeing if there's anything in there. I guess not. I don't know if you're gonna get up in that thing, but oh, here we are. Now we're at the increasing thrust. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if we can uh, get into that little, uh, that uh, that little station up there, the airport station thing, little tower. I don't know if we can get up there, but I don't know. I'm just messing around here, kind of, kind of just floating around here. You know, it's. I always, you know, every time I, I always put the hover mode on. You know, whenever or uh, not, uh, the lights on whenever I'm in hover mode because I can see things. You know, especially when you're hovering like right next to them, you can check it out. Gives you a little light, you know. So, I'm thinking about building a bigger VTOL, maybe. Maybe bigger than this, um, a VTOL that can actually, I don't know, I was kind of thinking about having, making one going into space, then whenever I land I can hit the thrusters and throw, throw my, slow myself down and, you know, might as well just build a rocket like that, you know, just build a rocket like uh, SpaceX's rocket, that kind of interested me, you know, I don't know if I could do it or whatnot, but I think I'm going to try. I think we're going to try out that. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it out. I really can't wait till they make a... Oh, we're just trying to get up in the air. I really can't wait till like, they make a um, downloadable content for this game. You know, like the war and like the new parts and stuff. I'm really looking forward to all that. So, in future episodes. But other than that, we're taking off from this little little airport pretty good, so... Just uh, turning off the lights, you know, as we ain't gonna need the lights. It's daytime out, so. But other than that, you know, I'm just gonna kind of speed up this little thing that way we can 
Okay, we're going back to the um, KSP command center. So, you know, we're going pretty good. You know, it it it's, it this the the VTOL is really not that fast. You know, it's not the fastest jet. It's kind of slow, but it's got a good amount of fuel. So, you know, wherever you want to go, it's it's more like a sightseer. You know, I I use this. I'm gonna use this thing to explore. You know, I was, I was gonna put some rockets on the uh, some solid rocket SBRs on the. Uh, um, or solid rocket boosters or SRBs on the sides of this thing and see if I can like launch it halfway around the world and you know just kind of nose around over there <laughs> you know just for something to do uh, other than that you know the VTOL it flies really well not that well but it flies good enough I mean it hovers you know it's its main job was to hover I mean it's it's got little wings on it, but you know. So, but other than that, you know, it flies pretty good, and flies really well. Just, it's not that fast. But either way, heck, I was thinking about putting a bigger, maybe a stronger engine on, or you know. But it's like all the stronger engines are long, and it's like dang. But, and they use a lot more fuel these tur little turbo fans those are pretty good you know they they don't use that much fuel that's why I went with a you know little turbo fan engine to do everything um and the other the VTOL engines are like you can't really see them but they're in there um, uh, my next VTOL when I build it I, it's gonna probably might look a little different um, but other than that, I mean, it, it, it'll be all right. Here we are. We're just coming into the KSP command center. We made it back here, and we still got a lot. Uh, still got a lot of fuel left, so we're gonna kind of raise raise some heck over here. I'm gonna. I have an idea of landing on top of the KSP or the VAB. It's got a helipad up there, so um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out. Um, I've only landed it. Oh well, I've never really landed everything. Like I tried land. I landed up there once, but it was cool and all that. <coughs> and like the second time, I uh, I crashed. <laughs> then it went corrupt on me. Not this game, but on like on the old KSP, it went corrupt all the time when I made VTOL. So I never really made them. But in this game, it doesn't go corrupt and everything, you know, the game works, so I have no complaint. But other than that, we're just coming in here, we're trying to land on the KSP VAB lab. So, whew. so we're just coming in, trying everything that we know, um, hopefully we'll get there. Now we're just kind of, well, I don't know, we're coming in, getting all this, kind of coming in kind of low, but I have a good feeling that we're going to get it. You know, this th this little hummingbird jet is pretty good, so, you know, I don't know, I don't really know how good, you know, um, I don't really know how good it actually is, but uh, I know I'm, I'm a good enough flyer to try and, try and land, so. If I can hover around here, I'm pretty sure I can land. Let's check it out. Starlight Armada. Try and land this dang thing. Try to get it all good. Come on. Get in there. Here we go. Getting closer. Three. What is that? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, we're kind of drifting. I don't want to hit it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh crap. Well, I have to increase thrust. Hey, did I? Well, either way. Alright, we're gonna have to try this. Uh, try it out again. Okay. It's kind of lowering our th thrust here. I'm trying to. Oh. Well, we're. Hey, dang it. Alright. Well, we're gonna go around and try it out again. That's all we can do. Oh, crap. Now we're losing. <laughs> 
Well, like I said, folks, this ain't gonna be easy. No, it takes a little bit. <laughs> well, we're gonna get there. I'm not giving up yet. Can't give up yet. All right, we're coming around. We're gonna try it out again. Right, try it out again. Here we go. All right. Come on, come on, hummingbird. All right, now we're pointing straight. Gotta stop. All right, we stopped there. Stopped there. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. No. Oh, straight now. Straight now. There we go. Oh. Kind of slowing down, you know, trying to get some a little bit of height. I'm gonna raise the thrust up a little, just a little tad. Okay, we're coming in pretty good. All right, this time, you know, first time was just a trial. Hey, <laughs> just practice. This time, oh yes, we are landing, folks. All right, cool. We are on, and we gotta down the thrusts. Okay, and now we will be oh, oh be landing. All right, we're gonna be landing. Okay, and. Here we go. Yay! We finally landed it. Alright. There you go. Whew! Finally did it. Alright. We got it, folks. Starlight Armada has landed on top of the VAB lab. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to be posting some, some, some of my mishaps on here, so some more, some more videos for everybody to laugh at, I guess. But other than that, we did it, folks. This is Starlight Armada. Signing off. You guys have fun. Keep it up. Have fun.